Out here, dreams begin at daybreak. This town is fueled by them. You gotta have something special to make it. We call it the it factor. Hard to define, but you know it when you see it. And in Los Angeles, the Lakers are it. Defending champs, box office dynamite. Who knows why, but we love our Lakers. Maybe it's the coach, the master of motivation, or the star who needs none. Or maybe it's the whole ensemble, distinct individuals with one dream. One thing's for sure. No access. We tried to find out. This season, on to the next one. We followed the Los Angeles Lakers on their quest to repeat as NBA champions. Don't anticipate your role. Anticipate what I'm going to do. And in true LA fashion, the cameras were always rolling. Join us on the inside. Run, run, let's go, run, run. With exclusive access through the ups and downs. What's wrong with you guys? As we take a deeper look at one season in the association. Okay. I don't look at it as repeat, I look at it as just winning. You know what I mean? It's, it's of course at the end, you know, the end result is repeating, but man, it's a whole nother year. I'm not, you know, what we did last year was great, but it's not that <laughs> difficult to me. Just forget about it and move on to the next season, just win it again. Basketball immortality for the 09 Los Angeles Lakers. It is a purple and This isn't so long, there's so many battles. Playoffs are so tough. Um, that when you get to that point, it's just like a huge relief. Being a Laker, you're a celebrity already. So winning a, a championship, you're not just a member of the rock band, like you're like the Grammy Award winning rock band. Back to work again. It's gonna be hard defending our title, but I feel good, man. I feel really good. I'm ready to roll. Y'all ready to watch? That's a good start. Yes, sir. The 2010 Los Angeles Lakers would begin their training camp looking to pick up right where they left off. <laughs> they coming. My man going to be leaning. Yeah, you. Helping your man out a little quick. Yeah, real quick. Whoa. I'll get them easy buckets. NBA champs. Loose and confident. Proudly wearing a crown. Uh, champions lead champions. Period. You can't argue with it. But they're ready to get back to work. Come on, Elboy. Come on, Elboy. Come on, right back. Oh. You good? Go, imagine, imagine trying to cover that. Yeah. Back pick, catch, yeah. pick right back on, the, right, right back behind me. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Boom, 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 too slow. Boom. Despite their swagger, the hunters have now become the hunted. We know last year that we got challenged, and we know this year we're going to get challenged again, and so there's nothing given. And if you sit back for an instant, people are going to step in and take your place. Let's go. Yes, sir! But the Lakers got even stronger this year. They added Ron Artest. Talented, yes, but also an enigma. And whether he would become a distraction remained to be seen. He's going to be physical, and he's going to play hard. Whatever the other stuff that comes along with it, we certainly can find a way to deal with it because um, you know, we have character guys on this team, and that'll help us do this. Our test may have his childhood friend Lamar Odom to lean on. <laughs> but Ron would have to develop a trust with team leader Kobe Bryant. And there wasn't much foundation to build on. Loose 
basketball for that is on the Houston Rockets. To be on Ron Artest, Artest. Kobe Bryant is going to be very careful that he does not get a technical. Wow, here, here we go. Uh-oh, right over to Bryant. For any hope of a successful title defense, Bryant and Artest would have to put their past behind them. You know, now I'm playing with Kobe, with Kobe with four rings, I have none. You know, even Lamar, that's my friend, but we was always competitive. He has a ring, I have none, you know? I, 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 I gotta have one, I need one bad. <laughs> I need one. On opening night, our test new teammates received a symbol of last season's accomplishment. Oh, I'm gonna put it back, son. The ring ceremony represents the end of a successful journey, but also the weight of expectation. Personally, I believe we have what it takes, but it'll be tested more than it ever has been in recent years, and uh, we'll have to dig deeper than we've ever had to dig. This team has a chance to be very good, real good. Lakers play the clock, and then Bryant sets it up for the final. Some stops down there, defense. Double. Nice defense. Hey, hey. And they had to get back to that defense if they're going to repeat. The oh, you know, looking at this Laker team, they should easily be 20 and one. So what you're saying is that they're going to break the Bulls' record of 72 wins. Oh, 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 oh. They won't break it, but they will challenge it. Over the glass, Kobe. Give me a break. This he team is confident, very confident team. So when you add all of those ingredients to what the Lakers already have, you see what could be. The Lakers now win seven in a row, and they still have four games remaining on this homestand. They could hit the road with an 11-game win streak. Kobe! Kobe! 3.2 seconds, no timeouts for the Lakers. Wade is gone in front. 107 105 Miami. Gives to Kobe, right wing. Dribbles away, 30 feet. One second. Bryant dribbling. Has to put it up with the buzzer. Oh, he banks in the three. And the Lakers win the game. Just when you thought you'd seen it all from Kobe Bryant, he pulls that out of his bag of tricks. And the Lakers' winning streak continues. It was the luckiest shot I've ever taken, by far. I shot it, I shot it, and I was like, no way, no way. I was like, oh, shit. I couldn't believe that, man. I said, what the? Hey, man, I was the only person. I was, I'm like, look, anybody else ought to tow that locker room up. The Lakers were on a tear, playing 17 of the first 21 games at Staples. But winning at home is what good teams do. The great ones take their show on the road. We've got to play really well at home. But we expect more than that in this organization, especially with a championship team. So we really got to play well on the road. trying to make it big. Some are just trying to make it to work. Life has a certain pace here. If you're from out of town, it could take some getting used to. But not for Lamar Odom. I fell in love with California as soon as I got here. It's a lot more laid back. Lamar is from Queens, New York. But he's pretty comfortable out here. He won a championship with the Lakers, signed a contract and met the woman of his dreams, reality TV star, Khloe Kardashian. Where do you see yourself 10, 15, 20 years from now? Besides, besides one day you being my wife. How do you know I'm gonna be your wife one day? Uh, that's easy. How? I can tell, when you know, you know. Just 30 days after they met, the Lakers came to see Lamar make it official. He was now Khloe's co-star. From this day forward, you are husband and wife. Back at work, 
the Lakers were energized by their hot start, and Ron Artest had been rock solid. Unselfish, chases the ball down. He doesn't go down. Now he's tough, he ain't gonna flop on you. But he's got an erratic side. From your Los Angeles Lakers, please welcome Ron Artest. And it always seems to command more attention. I don't think I'm one of those role model type guys. But I understand I'm in a situation where I have to be a role model. I'm just in that situation. So that's something I'm working towards, you know. Um, it's not something I'm running, I'm running from. Is he somewhat misunderstood? A whole bunch. Yeah. Most of all, he's quiet. He's one of the most loyal people I've ever met in my life. Of course, I know where he comes from. I know his upbringing. I know how hard it was for him to grow up. If you take a five-minute ride from Manhattan, you can cross the East River into Queens. And just beneath the bridge is where Ron Artest was raised. This is the building I, I grew up in, in 4107, apartment 5A. The Queens Bridge Projects is the largest public housing development in North America. My house burned down, and yeah, we moved to this first floor right here. And we had all this right here. As one of 10 people in a two-bedroom apartment, Ron gravitated toward the basketball court, where he found room to move, and the love of an entire community. Bring back a ring, man. That's all we want, man, just Ron. Ron, you already know. Bring back the ring, man. Queensbridge is never far from our test. It is tattooed on his right arm, a permanent reminder of where he developed his intensity. I think that way. Play it, play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. He switched this, right? Yeah, baby. Ron Artest is all over him. Once I know where the ball going, where your, where your midsection moving, keep my feet moving, no buckets. This is the Ron Artest that they signed. His defense and his physical presence is superb. Especially, I got two big guys behind me. No buckets. No buckets. Our test will not back down to anybody. It's taken it away. Jordan Parma will get it from Ron Artest. Once you see that guy going like that, that means you got to get ready to go like this. I never saw anybody play defense like that, you know, especially in person. <laughs> get it! Anytime you can harness a player like that and use his edge to your benefit rather than your detriment, it's, I mean, he's a, he could be a missing link type guy. He does add toughness to them, but he does, still doesn't know the offense. <laughs> so he's not sure what he's doing out there. Ron! Ron, what are you doing? We have a center opposite. One of the things with Ron is that he likes, you know, guidelines. He likes to have, uh, not so much guidelines, he likes to have things structured so he knows where everything's coming out. And this offense is, even though people think it's very structured, it's very unstructured. Just last season, Artest was focused on stopping Phil Jackson's triangle offense. Now, he's trying to learn it. And guess who's teaching him? We call our own audibles. So all you're doing is playing out of the format. The format is a triangle. But within that, you recognize all the shit that's, that you can change or adjust, and you communicate with each other and do it. He's still exploring what the limitations are, and so that's where I think Kobe helps him out a lot by his ability to play inside the system. Yes, sir. So now you start the triangle up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there. Right. All the way down there. Mm -hmm. So now it's, it's hard for him to do all that pressure. Okay. The floor's more space. Now okay. when you penetrate, it's hard for him to help him recover. Okay. Okay. Ron, you gotta know this. You gotta get up, 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 way up here. So the middle's open. We tried to run in this game the other night, we couldn't execute. All right, it's not about the back pick, down pick, shot at the end, it's about the initiating part. The triangle offense can be difficult to figure out. Some may say the same about Ron. He's equal parts bravado and humility. But at the heart of it, He's just a new guy trying to fit in. This is my family. They adopted me right here. They adopted me when I came to L.A. 
What's up, man? How's school today? Good. You playing? <laughs> Come on. I got the message on Twitter page. Who's up for a football game? You playing? All right, we, we, got, we got one. We got one. Ron actually gave me some tickets for last night's game also. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Oh, get out of here. Come on, man. Hey, nice threes yesterday, Ron. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, I got Six weeks into the season, the Lakers are 17 and three, trying to stay ahead of the competition. It was a routine play with potentially devastating consequences. It's out of bounds. Last touch by the Wolves Brewer. Kobe is down on a knee and hopefully okay. A piece of bone on Kobe Bryant's right index finger had been sheared off by a tendon. Most people would head for a hospital. Kobe has an ability to focus on the task at hand, which is the game. Just minutes later, Bryant would head back into the game. He doesn't focus on that pain. Over the shoulder, use the left hand. The Lakers will extend their winning streak to 11. Ryan leaning with a left hand, and he's got 20 in the corner. He's putting on a show. The Lakers behind 42 from Kobe Bryant defeat the Bulls. Sometimes when he gets to that point, he has some of his best games. He even gets more focused. Three seconds, Colby backs down Bell, a step back fade, he got it at the buzzer! And the Lakers will escape Milwaukee with a one-point win! People question, is that person even human? He gains that focus or something from uh, outer space, I don't even know how to call it, it's, uh, uh, it's unexplainable. Although Kobe's teammates were awed by his late game heroics, they were also becoming dangerously dependent on them. He spoils us. He's so good. He spoils our team. Because he can get, get us out of jams. He's so good that he gives us bad habits. The Lakers had cruised through the first two months of the season before we saw any sign of weakness. The Lakers blown away by the Spurs by 20. And even Kobe Bryant couldn't prevent the embarrassment that unfolded in front of a national TV audience on Christmas Day. Wake up, let's go. James puts it in and a foul. Now this one getting a little out of hand. To the crowd throwing out foam fingers. And yeah, this is unfortunate. The Cavaliers thrashing the Lakers on their home floor. The loss to the Cavs was the start of a six and five stretch. That may be fine for a young upstart but not for a champion. And Kobe had seen enough. Here you go. Bring in the shell. Oh, yes, sir. His focus is something that nobody has, I don't think. Kobe is the hardest working, you know, the most committed basketball player the game has ever seen. <laughs> Every day of the year, Kobe Bryant is doing something to make himself a better basketball player. When facing adversity, Kobe Bryant has his own way of sending a message. But the man who's helped him win four titles has a different approach. Phil gave everyone books on the plane today. What was your, what was your title? I don't know. I don't know. The Monkey Wrench Gang. Oh, we'll find out. We'll, we'll read a little bit of it. Phil Jackson was trying to get his team to correct itself, using the same methods he always has. For Jackson, it's been a coaching life of nonconformity. And he's still getting to players his way. This has got a great. Or not, I don't know about a great, but unique sense of humor. Uh, he always tries to mess mess with you, just pick on you enough to 
get you to react. The bitch, you got that? You're late. We're not playing the way we got it. We gotta get it under. I mean, of course it's not easy. None of this is easy. That's why we're pros. I love when he's tough on me. I respond to that very well. Uh, rather than somebody patting me on the back and always telling me what I do is good. So do you guys, you know, get, get anticipating that, you know, your role's gonna be Jordan, your role? Don't anticipate your role. Anticipate what I'm gonna do. He sits on the bench and doesn't seem like he's that impacted by the game and what's happening. Yet on the inside, he's boiling. Okay, now let's take a deep breath and get ourselves collected. Phil doesn't try to tell you exactly how to do everything. He really gives you the space to, to step into what you want your individual destiny to be. I've always felt that the knowledge that I gained from, from Phil and the way that he coaches the game is what gave me an edge on the rest of the competition. Yes, sir. Two for one. There's two for one going down there. The one that you ended up shooting in there, bro. Some people may not understand his methods, but if you've played for him, you, know, you understand him completely and you know what he's about. I mean, he's just absolutely brilliant at bringing a group together to accomplish one common goal. You gotta bring it in one time. Come on, Phil, Mr. Ten. Come on, Mr. Ten. Act like y'all We're done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we done. We done. We done. Now you got I think more than anything, it's about watching these players come together and make a bond. It's a circle, and we call that the ring. After a record 10 championships as a head coach, Phil Jackson is now in his fifth decade in the game, and he knows that he's closer to the end of his basketball journey than to the beginning. I sometimes think, you know, I'm on a road trip like to Memphis or Cleveland or some town like that, and I say, oh, maybe this is the last time I'm ever going to be in this town. You think about, you know, the places that, you know, you might never go back to again. So, you know, that crosses my mind once in a while that, you know, you can't step in the same river twice. I found myself thinking about the game, and, and I realized that, you know, it's still there. I still want to do it, and there's still a desire. When that's gone, you know, it'll be over. Jackson's Lakers are 32 and 9, and heading into an eight-game road trip. They would face their stiffest test yet. You gotta be prepared for Thaddeus Young also coming off the bench. Tell us a little bit about him, Ron. He's aggressive, it looks like. He's not strong in the post, but he wants to try to bang and go to the hole. In professional sports, you play half your games at home and half on the road. For the 2010 Los Angeles Lakers, the road had been an unfamiliar place until now. There are different types of road trips, obviously. There's the, the overnight, the back-to-backs that you play home and you play out, or you, know, you go off to a city and you spend a night in the city, then you play the next day in the game. We gotta wait for fish, man, he's a good guy. The ones that are usually the longer ones are the ones that are most beneficial to teens because guys go out, get a rhythm together. We had a 14 day longer one last year. We had nine games. I think we were undefeated. Yeah, we went nine and no, this is eight games, 13, so. You know, this is your time to kind of hang together. We've got a mentality now, and this is what we have to do. After a favorable early schedule, Phil Jackson and his troops are embarking on an eight-game East Coast trip. The first true test of their ability and cohesiveness. The time is in! Dance first off for LA would be the much anticipated rematch with LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kobe Bryant starting to come alive. Bryant ties the game at 87. And James is on it. Get back! Get back! James on the drive! The Cleveland Cavaliers 
will come away with the win to sweep the season series from the Lakers. Is part of the mentality on a long road trip like this to kind of play it and forget it, or do you want him to think about what went wrong tonight? No, we just move on. It is, you know, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with tomorrow night's game. Phil, so what can you say about Powell's free throws in this list? New York, I love New York, though. He's, he's got great culture. So even though you're sitting in traffic here, it's not sitting like sitting in traffic on the 405. You can, Get the people watching, look at things. I love the city. Madison Square Garden is my favorite place to play, though. Kobe's affinity for Madison Square Garden is understandable, considering he scored 61 points on his last visit. He is looking to score tonight. There's no question about it. Sets himself, puts it up, puts it in. Kobe Bryant plays on a show here in the first half. While Kobe, once again, would be on his game, the same could not be said for the rest of the team. Do you have the feeling that Kobe Bryant has lost confidence for his teammates? The Lakers are fortunate to escape with a win, but Kobe is far from satisfied. The guys got to get going. They got to get going. You know, we got Powell's got to get going. Andrew got to get going. You know, other players got to find the rhythm um, you know, because I need them on this trip. Two nights later in Toronto, the Lakers continue to struggle and once again look to their leader to bail them out. The road trip began with a one and two record. Clearly not what the Lakers expected. The team is in dire need of a distraction. And luckily, it was about to get one. Well, here we go. Getting ready to go over the White House. I got my Obama jersey with me. Got the fresh shave going, the suit on. Jordo? You already met Barack. I already met Barack. We're going for a second round. We get a chance to check out the White House. The new suit? Good. New suit. Cost me pretty penny, <laughs> Obama. As one final reward for last year's championship, the Lakers and their families are invited to meet the president. Of course, I've got to recognize Kobe Bryant, youngest player uh, ever to reach 25,000 points in his career. Uh, I, and, and he's playing with a broken finger. Now, if I had a broken finger, I, I would have trouble getting out of bed. Uh, and he's still leading the team uh, day in, day out. Give them a big round of applause. The White House visit was only a momentary escape. Kobe's thoughts quickly returned to the state of the Lakers. Where are you guys? Who is your team mentally right now? That soft mentality right now. It's expecting that you know, repeating is going to be easy, so everybody's a little fragile right now. His style of leadership is demanding, and, and it can be, you know, face to face and aggressive and assertive. and. I think ultimately you don't have any problem with it if you're working as hard as you can work. And that's what people come to realize. Miller, nowhere to go. Fisher took it away from him. Up ahead to Shannon Brown. This is in a 2-3 zone. Fisher left wing gets high post. Gasol left corner our test. Open three, good. Boyd to the left baseline, his pass deflected, stolen by Fisher. Up the near side, lobbing for Bryant. Down the paint, lobs in for Gasol, hammers it down. And a timeout by Flip Saunders. The Lakers would finally show the heart that had been missing and earned a much needed victory in the process. Played a little better tonight. On to the next one. When they come to someone else's arena, it's the Lake Show. It's always going to be the Lake Show. The champs are in town. Kobe Bryant is here. Hey. And a little bit of Hollywood, of course. Lamar Odom married Khloe Kardashian. Picks it up, goes to Odom. Lamar Odom dominated, and he hammers him with a left-hand jam. Beautiful, right? So romantic. 
Vujicic out to Odom. His three-point shot is good at the buzzer. <laughs> home sweet home. Hey. Don't get lost in this city, guys. Remember, there's some nasty people here. One, two, three. Time to bounce. And he got Shot in seven. After 12 days on the road, it's time to go home. The Lakers would return with a 5 and 3 record, but it came with a cost. Right now, we've been dinged up all season. It's bad luck. I mean, sometimes you're just unlucky. The reality is, is if you're a championship team, you have to will yourself to get through that. You have to do it. As they hobble home, the question still remains. How good is this team? And with half a season remaining, how far could it go? I haven't got a feel for that yet. We're still about, you know, 10, 12 games away from really seeing, you know, the grist of you know, the season and what that's going to make for our team. Mm. I like traffic. My first game as a Laker, preseason game, I was maybe about 30 to 40 minutes late, man. And as a rookie, that's like blasphemy. There's just absolutely nothing I could do, <laughs> nothing I could do, man. No shoulder, no nothing. I was just stuck. And that was my first welcome to uh, LA traffic. <laughs> it was terrible. It was terrible. After nearly two weeks on the road, the Lakers are back home. It was far from a perfect road trip. But things were about to get a lot worse. Kobe came up guilty on that play. And he's going straight to the locker room. Walking gingerly. Kobe Bryant aggravated an already tender ankle. Whoa! And for the first time in 236 games, the Lakers would have to find a way to win without him. 27. 28. 29. You jumped out here. There went your man. You guarded him. There went your man underneath you. Make a decision one way or another. You get in the sights and then all of a sudden he picks you. Then behind the wall. Angle. Right. You good? Yeah. Dribble away, Ron. Bring it over here. It sucks because Kobe's out. But we got to think about well, what we're going to do with the guys we have here to win ball games, and I think we got to find a formula to do that. Without Kobe, the Lakers would look to their other All-Star, oh, yeah, yeah. Pau Gasol, is one of the most versatile big men in the game. Now they would need him to shoulder much of the burden. Blocked by Gasol. Lakers pushing three on two. Odom in for Brown Loft. Inside for Gasol. A touch finish. Powell with 22, 19 rebounds and five blocks. Powell doesn't get enough credit. Um, he's one of the best players in the world. Gasol. What a pass. Powell Gasol run our test. It's crazy to think it, but you know, he's still underrated. He's a great, great player. Laker fans already knew how valuable Gasol is to us. But until this point in the season, the supporting cast had remained an unknown quantity. You know who this is? I'm Jordan. Ladies, I'm Jordan. What's your first name? Josh. Josh? The, moment. the opportunity was really good for our young players. These guys look forward to it. Walmart up top for Brown, and he dunks it in. And I think it elevated their game, and they didn't back down at all. 
without Kobe Bryant, the Lakers pulling out an awfully gritty win behind some big play from the bench. One, two, three, kids, oh. Stolen by Vujicic. Behind the back bounce, Benga. Mind over matter for the Lakers tonight, shorthanded. A statement victory. A lot of people outside of, you know, the organization were surprised, you know, that, that we'd be able to win without Kobe. But that's just us having the confidence in ourselves and our abilities to go out there and get it done. Shannon Brown, all night long, it's been his night. Shannon Brown, career high, 27 points, 10 rebounds. Everybody can celebrate as the Lakers win again without Kobe. The Lakers were rolling without their star when the Boston Celtics arrived in town. It would be great if we could keep extending our winning streak and building on it and continue to grow, yeah. That would be nice. Tell Kobe can take off a couple more years. No, no, you know, we want him back as soon as possible. You know, we need him to be healthy. In L.A., nobody misses big games like this, especially former Lakers. Hey, Kareem. How you doing? Good. Yourself? This is where the stars come, that you're entertaining them. I tell you, it's why if you ask any player in the league, they'd want to play here. Rick Fox won three rings with Kobe Bryant and still keeps his finger on the pulse of his old team. You guys play well without Kobe, though. I want him back, though. Yeah, oh, hey, we all want him back. You know? Over here on the stands, we want him back. Yeah. And out on the court, I know you guys do. Yeah. But, you, but still, I mean, that's what I think that's what 15 guys are about. I guess, one, I guess that's true. One goes, you feel comfortable in the, in the triangle now? Yeah. You getting better? Feel comfortable, you know? Yeah. yeah. Feel comfortable playing a role? It's a rarity to see Kobe out, but he was banged up with his finger right, and his right, ankle. That's right, that's right. a lot of stuff going on. You think that? You think? Yeah, well, well, tonight we need a test. Here come the Celtics. Burn it. Wow. Six consecutive hits for the Boston Celtics. Physical game out there. They're all coming after us, right? You guys, get ready. While his teammates are battling the Celtics. Kobe's back in the training room, receiving treatment. He was going through his therapy, and I don't think he can handle being on the court and not in uniform. You know, I wouldn't be able to do my job because I'm trying to hold him down. Our chance. Oh, right over Rasheed Wallace. Is the style that's going to win this championship this year the same way you guys played last year? Or are you got, or is it going to be better? Adjustments? It's got to be better. It's got to be better. You can't repeat by doing the same thing. Right. You know, you got to be better. You got to be tougher. You got to be stronger. You got to execute better. I hate seeing stuff like that, man. Well, you know, the physicality, man, that's the key. They double guard out with Kevin Garnett really banging with the ball. It's a mindset. Get into that mode, you know, that grimy mode. Another force turnover here by the Lakers. Let's see if they can cash in. Oh! oh! Dropping the sledgehammer is Lamar Odom. Everybody's got to contribute. Because you win a championship when everybody on the team is feeling confident, feeling like they can make plays for everybody else. What a nice find by the ties the game. The game would come down to the final moments. A time usually reserved for Kobe. But now all he can do is watch. Celtics lead by one. 2.2 2 seconds to play. You think that uh, the Lakers would love to have Kobe Bryant in this situation? Oh. The Boston Celtics win here in Los Angeles. You look at it as uh, positive because, hey, you can't win them all, right? Yeah, no more victories, don't worry. Yeah. You want to win every game you play. That's how you become champions. Got to get stops against one of the league's most dangerous scores, the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. Says he's ready to roll tonight. After being sidelined for 18 days with a sprained ankle, Kobe Bryant would return to action against the Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies 98, Lakers 96. We should have known that with Kobe, rust was not going to be an issue. 
Well, Tess gets it inbounds on the wing for Gasol. Up top, Odom, right wing, Colby. A pull up, long three. Buries the shot. Colby Bryant, the basketball maestro. The Lakers welcoming Colby Bryant back into the lineup. He electrifies a Memphis crowd tonight. This season, the Lakers have relied on Bryant more than ever. And he sees the responsibility. The leadership has not been foisted upon him. He's taken it. Listen, Stevie said right there, I want you to go there early. Listen to me. Go there early. I think that he is a, a, a dynamic leader. And Drew, push Garnett. Push Garnett into drive. He tests other guys all the time with his uh, drive. If they don't come out and meet the standard that he kind of wants to play at, he you know, lets guys know that. He's also grown into his role, establishing a connection with his teammates in the game's biggest moments. Bryant looks inside, finds Gasol, Gasol, count it, and a foul. We did that perfectly. Joe and I were in line the whole time. In line the whole time, so now, Kobe is 31 years old, and with 14 seasons in the league, he's learned to tailor his motivational style. I need a person like Kobe because I need him to say, you know, when there's four minutes left in the game, we're down eight. I need him to tell me that, you know, we're going to be all right, we're going to win this game, but I just need you to get this done. I felt kind of stuck because I, I was right here. And Drew had the ball right here. Yeah, so when he come, if you here, when he come and he dribble off, then just do this. All right, yeah. And back pick him and then just step, up. yeah. Yeah, then we keep that space. I got him in the corner. All right. The leaders have to be able to serve. And that's one of the things that Kobe's learned. That's always been the mark of a star is how much better does he make his other players, not how great he is himself. And Kobe's really grasped that. Now, as Bryant has his sights set on the fifth NBA title, Phil Jackson can't help but compare him to another player he once coached. There's a lot of similarities between, you know, Kobe Bryant and uh, Michael Jordan. The thing that's always been remarkable for me is that they compete very much alike. Matter of fact, get your hands off me. Don't touch me the rest of the script. Get your hands off me. Oh, oh, oh. Right. I, I think it's totally the nature of those two players. I think Jordan exhibited that in his career. There was no bend in him at all. There was no uh, willingness to give up or not compete in the game. And uh, that's one of the things that's made them special. There's no doubt in my mind that it's Kobe's goal to be better than Michael Jordan. A lot of people that are great basketball players wouldn't even attempt, like, saying it. That would be, like, off limits. And I, I commend Kobe for that. A lot of people was scared to walk in those shoes. But Kobe knows the comparison falls short without the rings to back it up. Welcome, everyone, to downtown Los Angeles, the sold-out Staples Center. And as the season hit its stretch run, he was more focused than ever. The Lakers with a chance to go for the win. Kobe, five seconds, curling, hanging, shooting, it sticks him from the baseline. 1.9 seconds. The Lakers will survive. The best closer in the game has done it again. He has bailed them out six times this year. In many ways, Bryant's six game-winning shots are a highlight of the season, but also a symptom of deeper issues that still face the team. And it's over. The Lakers setting a new low for points in a game this season. Does that cause any concern as you get closer to the playoffs that you've struggled against some of the better teams in the league? Sure, I mean, it's concerning, absolutely. It should be. That's a good old-fashioned beating. They have some stuff they have to work out if they're going to win another title. The sky is not falling, I don't think at least. <laughs> uh, somebody did used to tell us that the world was flat, so we'll see. And the Lakers stumble back to Los Angeles, whipped up here in Atlanta. As I told the players, we entertain a lot of fans this season. A lot of home teams have a wonderful victory over the champions.
At a time when champions should be coalescing, the team leaders acknowledge that the Lakers are still searching for their identity. Last year, we were a little hungrier. We played a little hungrier and played a little harder. You know, this year, the mentality has to change a little bit. You know, sometimes I criticize myself for not exploring more of what I consider the modern game, which is, you know, kicking the ball and shooting threes. But the principle of this game is teamwork, and it always has been. The Lakers are one of the most enigmatic top seeds in years. At times brilliant, at others detached. The playoffs are imminent, and this team is experienced enough to know that having to solve problems this late in the game can be dangerous. But they also know they have what it takes. There comes a moment where you figure out that it doesn't matter who you're playing against, where, when. It's just about you and the team. And that's it. It's a long time to get off the bus. What happened? They ran out of tape already. These guys don't have any tape left on their cameras. Wait a few guys.